Hello everyone and welcome to the demonstration video for Vibin, the mobile dating application that matches users based on their MBTIs or their Myers-Briggs personality indicators. Right here, the first page that you're seeing is the main screen that you will see when you first open up the application. Um, it's just the um, abbreviated Vibin logo. We're just going to click right here and it will take us to the first screen. Um, if you don't have an account yet, you will see this screen. It's just basically asking you to sign up for the app. Um, you, I'm going to just press on it and it's going to um, fill out some information that I have already entered here. Um, so you have a couple options here. You can either sign up or you can sign up with Facebook. Most apps these days use the sign up with Facebook option just because it's a bit more expedited. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the Facebook sign up button. Um, just a side note, if you already have an account, you can also press this button right here and it will take you to the sign up or sign in page for your account. But we're just going to go ahead and click on the Facebook sign up. Um, here you see the Vabin logo and some information that Facebook usually uh, asks their users. We're going to just go ahead and press continue and it's going to take you to the first page after you go through the initial sign up process. And it asks you if you know your personality style or your MBTI. Um, if you do know it, then you can go ahead and click yes and it'll take you to a page where basically uh, all of the personality styles will be listed. You will select your personality style from there and then you will click next. But for now, let's just pretend that we don't know what our MBTI is and we're just going to press no. And it will give you a brief explanation here of what an MBTI is. And also it will explain to you a little bit more information about our partnership with 16personalities.com. If you don't know 16personalities.com, it's basically a website that offers or provides users uh, tests for um, their personality style. It doesn't necessarily say that they're an MBTI tester, but they definitely give an abbreviated version of the M MBTI exam and it only takes 15 minutes. Um, I took the MBTI exam and it takes about 30 to 60 minutes to complete. So this is a great page. And we really wanted to partner with 16 personalities because of their expedited assessment that they have. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and click on take the test here. And this is going to take them to um, another window where users are able to take the test. They'll be able to click on take test here uh, for 15 minutes. They'll probably be taking the test and then once they're done, they'll be able to click on the little X button and it'll take them back to the Vibin page. So we're going to go ahead and click on the X button and it's going to take them here where it says, please select your personality style from the list below. Uh, here we have the 16 personalities. You will just, or users will just select their personality style from here and then click on the next button which will then take them to their settings page where they'll be able to add photos, add personal information, edit their profiles, or um, manage their preferences. I'm just going to take you to the add photos um, page so that you can see what it looks like. Here you have the option to add 12 photos and each profile on the Vibin app is going to add, have this option to add 12 photos and also add a profile picture, which is right here. If we click on the add photo page or button, it'll take you to these options here to import from Facebook, take a photo or choose from the photo library. We can also just cancel right here. Um, if you press on the profile photo, you'll also have the same options. For now, we're just going to go ahead and click on done so that we can look at the personal information. So we'll click here and you have uh, these, uh, you know, basic information here. It's just your phone, email, birthday, location. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And here you will see uh, a profile for a potential uh, Vibin member. We're going to click on done and then go to edit profile so that you can take a look at the uh, profile. So we have a username option here. And basically what this does is when you have a Vibin profile, other users are going to be able to see your first name. And next to that, uh, they're going to see your age and your location. We'll be able to see that later on in the demonstration. But we have this username option just in case you match with someone or you have a friend on Vibin and you haven't necessarily matched with them, but you want them to see your page, uh, you can use their username to actually search 
friends or to search anyone who you know on Vibin, which is, I think, really neat because let's say uh, on Tinder you have a friend who um, is on the application and you want some way to connect with them. Vibin gives you this option. We also have to take into consideration that Vibin isn't just a dating app. It's also kind of like a social media platform. So I like to say that Vibin is a hybrid between the uh, social media network and the dating application because Vibin has a uh, user profile where users are able to update their statuses, add photos, and they have an about section which we'll be able to see later on in this demonstration. But let's just go back to the uh, user uh, settings here. So you can add your bio, you can add some social media links. If you want to add your Instagram link, you can go ahead and throw that in there. Or if you want to connect with a match via LinkedIn because they work somewhere where you might potentially want to work, you can go ahead and do that too. Or if you have a website that you want to add to your page, you can do that as well. We're going to go ahead and look at the preferences just now. Um, and here at the top, you have the I am and it doesn't show it right here, but there are a, f are a few different options for this. You have female, male, and you also have um, non-binary uh, not, or non-gendered options in this area here. And you're also going to have the same options for the looking for a, um, you know, male, female, or non-binary, non-gender uh, neutral person. Um, so you can you also have your age preference here. You can use these little modules here to adjust the age that you're looking for and as well as the distance. And then you have the push notifications options, app sounds and vibration or private profile options so that uh, users aren't able to see that you have an account. When you have a private profile, your profile just won't show up in the match screen. So we're going to go ahead now and look at the uh, typical user profile. So basically, once you match with someone, you're able to see this extended profile, which shows you uh, the user's um, background or cover photo. It's kind of similar to Facebook in this regard and their profile photo. And then you're also able to see their feed where they're able to update statuses. People can like or comment on this. Um, you're also able to, um, on, on the end of the user, you're also able to upload uh, a feeling. So right here on the smiley face, you can press on that and there will be an option of different uh, moods that you can update. And also you can add photos. And then here on the about section, you will, or other users will be able to see your username, your zodiac sign. I, for one, like to know my uh, friends zodiac sign. So I think that's really neat here that it shows that option. Uh, the personality style, which is imperative for the app and also the, bi the bio and social media and website links. And then here you have your photos. Like I mentioned before, you can add up to 12 photos for each profile. Um, here I, I do have about 12 photos here. Um, and basically this is the view for the photo section. Uh, for from the user's perspective, they're able to click on this little link, which takes them back to their um, preferences page or settings. And then we're just going to press right here. And this is what the match looks like. So now this is from the view of a male who is potentially looking for a female. And this is Chantal, which is me. Uh, she's 22 years old. And once you press here, you can get some more information about her. She goes to the Claremont Graduate University. She's an ENTJ, which is also the commander. Uh, they are bold, imaginative, strong-willed leaders. And this is just the description that is shown on the 16 Personalities website. She also has an About Me section. Uh, these sections are usually very brief. You can add more information on your actual profile under the About Me section, uh, which gives you a more extended description box. And then she also has the location here. She's in Upland, California, which is about five miles away from, from this person. If you press on this again, it will just uh, compress. And then if you press on this button, it will take you to um, a page where you have the option to learn more about personality styles if you don't already, uh, learn more about your personality style in specific, check your compatibility with friends or matches to see what it is that determines or what algorithm is that, that determines whether or not you're compatible or, 
or compatible to one personality style over the other. And you're also to check personality styles and friendships um, and r romantic relationships and, and how that plays out, which I think is really neat. Um, here, you're able to search other usernames, like I mentioned before. If you have a friend that's like Sarah123, you'll be able to search her up right here and she will pop up immediately. And, and then this is just a button for you to take photos. Um, and then another cool feature that Vibin has is that you're able to add stories to your profile. So here you can uh, add a photo or a brief video. And once you do that, oops, let me just go back here. Once you do that, then it will actually show a little circle here around your profile photo. And let's just look at the messages screen. So once you press on this little card, it'll take you to your messages screen where you're able to search specific people on your messages. Um, here, this person has about um, eight messages that they have. We're just gonna press on the first one. And it seems like they've already started a conversation. So the main user said, hey, and then the other person said, hey, how are you doing? In order for you to like this comment, all you have to do is double tap on it and it'll show a little bit, a little heart right next to it. And then if you just wanna start writing, you will press on type message. And here you have your standard iPhone keyboard. And I'm just gonna press on it again and it shows I'm great. Uh, and then just to go ahead and send it, we press on the orange send button and it goes ahead and sends. And let's say you wanna send a heart to show how much you're into this person. You can just go ahead and press on the heart button right here next to the camera and it'll show a heart there. Now let's say that for some reason you wanna block this person. Uh, you can actually go right here and press these three buttons and it'll give you these options uh, for security purposes. You can unmatch with them, you can report them or block them, or if you simply just wanna view their profile, you can go ahead and press on view profile and it'll take you right back to their main page. So, um, that is all for Vibin. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Uh, look Vibin up on the on your phones and upload the app and tell your friends and see how you like it. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye bye.